Good morning. Good. good. And you? Very good, very good. Are you hearing an echo? Huh? Uh, an echo. Are you hearing an echo? No? No. Good. Very good. Okay. Let's... We're going to take off where we left off last week. Okay, I will enable the chat so you can see what I am saying. Okay? Okay. Very good. All right, so last week or last class, in the last class, uh -huh. we looked at, we were on, we were doing this paper. This is a past exam. You follow? past exam, uh -huh. okay? So this part will be very easy for you. Very easy for me? Yes, because this part is, all you have to do is listen to the sentence, and choose a picture. Okay. Okay. So mm -hmm. let me read the instructions just so you could see it. This is a real exam in the past, right? So the instruction is for each question in this section, you will hear a single sentence. Choose from the pictures in your test booklet the one picture which best describes, sorry, which best shows Choose. what the sentence says. Then shade the corresponding space on the answer sheet. For example, you will hear, el muchacho va a correr. You see these drawings and you choose which drawing says, el muchacho va a correr. You understand? Okay. Yeah. Very easy, no? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this part, this is one, the, the Spanish exam for CSEC has three papers, three papers. Okay, so this is one, and this one I think will be very easy. Now, last week we stopped at number six, last class, la última class, we stopped at number six, but um, as you know, for your benefit, we will start from number one, right? Because it will be very easy and very fast. Okay, so you see these drawings, El Muchacho Va a Correr. The answer is? La D. D, very good. Okay, then the next one. Uh, the next one, if I, what, what you will hear is the examiner will say a sentence and you choose a picture. Okay, so for example. Um, see. 
Ok. <risa> no, no. No. Porque, no, pero buen intento, buen intento. Lo, lo que va a suceder en el examen es que el, el, el examinador, pues, él el, el, el va a leer un, una oración y tú tienes que escoger cuál, va, cuál oración, cuál dibujo corresponde a la oración y va a ser en español. Entonces, por eso va, les va a ser súper fácil esa, par, esa parte. ¿Por qué? Por, porque, por ejemplo, este, es, es, estos cuadros aquí, hay cuatro. El examinador va a decir algo así como, este, la pareja revisa el menú. Y tú tienes que eh, sombrar la respuesta correcta. Entonces, ¿cuál sería? La pareja. Uh, la pareja, la di. Sí, very good. ¿No? Yes, yes, that is correct. Correct, very good. All right, let's move on to number two. So I will see. So everything will be in English except todo va a estar en inglés salvo la oración este que tú tú tienes porque acuérdate que este examen es, es es el examen que se le da a los trinitarios a bueno a los caribeños este entonces todas las instrucciones van a estar en inglés pero solamente la parte en español y tú tienes que um, emparejar con, con el cuadro. Entonces, for example, you will hear, entonces, por ejemplo, vas a escuchar, you will hear the farmer, el, no, perdón, perdón, va a, escuchar, va a estar en español. So you will hear el granjero Cortó el cambur. ¿Y tú, Ajá. ¿Cuál es la respuesta que vas a asombrar? La... B. B. Very good. B. Ok. So, uh -huh. so, entonces, así va a ser. Todas las instrucciones van a estar en inglés. Salvo... Lo único que va a estar en español es la oración que describe el dibujo que ellos quieren que escojas. Ok, entonces, por ejemplo, ahora vamos con el... Ese es el 6, a ver, si no el 3. Ok, entonces, el ponente... Perdón. El ponente... Ah, el, es, así va a ser, ¿no? Eh, The instruction will be in English. And then you will hear el ponente explica el gráfico. Which answer is correct? B. B, again. Very good. Then, for example. El gráfico o el tráfico. No, el, el gráfico, el gráfico, el gráfico. Pero muy, muy buena pregunta porque es posible que este, la persona que está leyendo, que esté leyendo, este, lo pronuncie mal. Y en ese momento, en el examen, puede levantar la mano y preguntar, ¿tráfico o gráfico? Okay. Este, pero en este caso, como hay un ponente, es, esa es la otra cosa. Hay que escuchar las palabras claves. Entonces, por ejemplo, aquí hay un solo ponente que está en la B. Entonces, muchas veces, incluso si no escuchas la oración completa, este, con algunas palabras claves te da una idea, ¿no? Entonces, aquí hay un ponente. Este es un parece, este aquí en la A parece ser un director. Este aquí un oficial de tráfico y bueno luego el sacerdote, ¿no? Entonces, vamos a proceder. So, let's continue. 
the couple are in the art gal perdón lo estoy haciendo en inglés tiene que estar es la instrucción tiene que ser es, la instrucción va a estar en inglés y uh, y la la la, la respuesta la la cómo se llama la pregunta va a estar en español entonces no la pregunta no el, la, el, la oración pues va a estar en español y eso es lo que vas a eh, escoger entonces por ejemplo escoges eh, el, el, el que examina el examinador va a decir por ejemplo Okay, so the next one, as I was saying, the instruction will be in English and the sentence will be in Spanish. Okay, la instrucción va a estar en inglés, y, pero la oración con la cual tiene que este, responder va a estar en español. Entonces va a ser así. Choose the correct drawing that corresponds to the picture. La pareja está en la galería de arte. Ay, la sí. Sí, very good. Okay, is you easy? ¿Ves lo yeah, fácil easy. que es? es, es, es. Este es un examen real. Ok, the next one is five, number five. Ok, number five. Um, so, the, so choose the drawing that corresponds to the sentence. Oración es sentence. The sentence you are about to hear. Sentence. Sentence. Sentence is oración. Sentence. Lo pongo en el chat. Okay. Um, so choose the drawing. Choose the drawing. Choose the correct drawing for the following sentence. The girl is. Ah, oh, perdón. Tiene que estar en español. Choose the correct sentence. La chica está revisando la comida en la nevera. La B. B, perfect. Um, Yarima, Yarima Mendez, buenos días, bienvenida. If you want to try, let's try. You, you understand the exercise, Yarima? Entiende el ejercicio? No mucho. Ok, sí, es, es muy sencillo. Tiene que emparejar la oración que vas a escuchar con el dibujo que corresponde. Pero la instrucción va a estar en inglés y la oración va a estar en español. Ok, so choose the correct drawing. A ver, vamos a proceder. Choose the correct drawing. El pescador está esperando que le muerda un pez. D. D. Very good. D. Okay, that is six. Then let's move on to seven. Okay, so we have here two boys giving a gift. Then we have Bill talking to two boys. Then we have, all right. Um, okay. 
choose the correct drawing. Well, the instruction will be sheet, que es que utiliza un lapicero y, y haces así con, con, esta let, con la letra correcta, la, la letra correcta. Entonces, choose the correct drawing. Okay. Los amigos de la chica están regalándole. Eh, no, los amigos de la chica están dando regalos a la. Le están dando regalos. Es la. Sí. Sí. Very good. And so it will be. All right, we almost finished this exercise. Okay. Choose the correct drawing. Los bebés están llorando. Sí. Sí. Very easy. Yarima, you want to try? <laughs> ¿Quiere intentar, ¿Ah? Yarima? Yeah. All right. Let's try one. So choose the correct drawing. Los chicos están en la computadora. B. B. Very good. Simple. So this, this is why the exam will be so easy for you. Now, again, all the instructions are in English. Okay, pero es por eso que, que el examen les va a ser tan, tan, sen, tan sencillo, porque todas las instrucciones van a estar en inglés, pero luego el, las preguntas van a estar en, en, en español. Okay, so let us try this second section, section two. Now we are going to be joined. No, se, se van a juntar con nosotros este, las demás personas de la oficina. Um, ahí llegó María. Bienvenida, María. Ella se llama María Hernández, fíjate, pero no, no habla español. Es, es trinitaria. Y bueno, y así conocerían mu muchos trinitarios con nombres totalmente en español, pero um, bueno, entonces este, se van a ir juntando este, los demás de la oficina, ¿no? Así virtual. Ok, so let's, let's do some practice reading. Ok, vamos a practicar un poquito la, la lectura en inglés. Ok, yo leo y ustedes repiten tras, detrás de mí. Ok, ¿les parece? Sí, profe. Ok. En this section, estoy leyendo las instrucciones, entonces empiezo aquí. Ok. En this section, You will hear. Si prenden sus micrófonos, turn on your microphones. Turn on your microphones. In, in this section, you will hear. All right, muy bien, muy bien. Vamos a intentar hacerlo junto. In this section, You will hear. In this section, you will hear. A number of sentences. A number of sentences. Very good. Each sentence. Each sentence. Will be read twice. 
will be required. And will be. Uh, will be followed by, followed by one question one question or incomplete statement or incomplete incomplete statement Oh, incomplete. incomplete statement. Sick. Statement. Okay, se, se, en el chat voy a poner cómo se pronuncia. Statement. 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 Es, es, es un, no se deletrea así, ¿eh? este, se, se pronuncia así. Se pronuncia como, pero se deletrea. Así como statement. Statement otra vez es sinónimo con oración. Es otra forma de decir oración. Sonado viste si oración. Okay. Statement. That's this word here. All right? Let's, let's continue. For. For. Suggested, suggested answers, answers for each question, for each question are printed, are printed in your test booklet, in, in your test booklet. For each question, for each question, choose the answer, choose the answer, which best completes, which complete the question or statement, the question. right? For example, you will hear. For example, mm -hmm. Mama. Mama. Tengo muchísima sed. Tengo muchísima sed. And you will hear that twice. Y, y vas a escuchar esa oración dos veces. Ok, twice quiere decir dos veces. Ok, Mama, tengo muchísima sed. Mama, Mama. tengo muchísima sed. Oh. ¿Qué quiere esta persona? ¿Qué quiere esta persona? Ok, and then you will shed, sombrar la, la, la letra correcta. Entonces, after examining, after examining, the suggested answers, the suggested answers, you should, you should, select, Select the best one. The best, the best one. And she And she The corresponding space. The corresponding space. On your answer sheet. On your answer sheet. Okay, otra vez super fácil. Este. Vas va a escuchar un, una oración dos veces. Mamá, tengo muchísima sed. Entonces la pregunta va a ser, ¿qué quiere esta persona? Y tú tienes que simplemente este, hacer así, con eh, sombrar la letra correcta. Okay, entonces en este caso tenemos una manzana, una bebida, un médico, una galleta. Okay, entonces si la oración es, mamá, tengo muchísima sed, ¿qué quiere esta persona? Una bebida. Una bebida. Exactamente. ¿Lo, ¿Ves lo fácil que es? Ok. The correct answer is B. So you would shade, con el lapicero, you would shade the space with the letter B on your answer sheet. Okay. What do you answer? 
stream. Very good. All right, so let's begin. Everyone understands the instruction. Maria, Melika, you understand the instruction? Yeah. You understand the instruction, Melika, Maria? You just have to shade. You will hear a sentence twice, right? Mama, tengo muchísima sed, and then I will ask a question and then you share the right answer, right? What does this person want? In, in this case, ¿qué quiere esta persona? What does, this, what does this person want? In this case, mamá, tengo muchísima sed. If the person has muchísima sed, they want a drink, right? Una bebida, okay? Yeah. All right, let's do it. So, Number nine. Okay, we have four verbs there. Tenemos cuatro verbos. Tocar, jugar, comer, pelear. All right. Tocar, so, jugar, comer, pelear. Mm -hmm. So I will say the sentence now. Con la misma oración. Yes, yes. I, I, I will say, no, 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 not the same sentence. No la misma oración. Tengo hambre. ¿Qué quiere hacer esta persona? Comer. Comer, exactly. All right, let me call you and then we will, you will answer one by one. Okay, yo, 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 yo la llamo. Y me responde uno por uno. Entonces, voy a llamar a Caterina, Yarima, María y luego Melita. Ok. So, number 10. El señor está poniendo notas en la pizarra. ¿Qué hace esta persona? Catherine. Profe, no escuché porque se me cayó el wifi. Ok, ningún problema. ¿Me puede repetir? El señor está escribiendo en la pizarra. ¿Qué hace? Ah. El señor. ¿Qué es un profesor? Un profesor, perfecto. Ok, number 11, número 11, vamos con Yarima. Number 11, eh, la muchacha. Tiene un suéter puesto. ¿Qué, con, ¿Con qué está pasando? ¿Con qué está pasando su tiempo la muchacha? Con frío. Frío, ok. Facilísimo, facilísimo. Y esto es un examen. Este, ok, entonces vamos a proceder a la 12. Ok, so we are going on to number 12, and that would be, that would be Maria. Maria. El muchacho se sentó en su escritorio. El muchacho se sentó en su escritorio. Perdón, es eso un detalle. That, that's something important. Es un detalle que se me olvidó. La oración se le va a repetir, repetir dos veces. 
you will hear the sentence twice. Okay, so el muchacho se sentó en su escritorio. El muchacho se sentó en su escritorio. ¿Qué va a hacer el muchacho? María. Ah, uh, María. María. Mr. Khan. Yes. Not, you heard the question? Yes, but I am not clear. So I, I mean, this is my first time. No problem. No problem. Let me explain. Okay. It's, it's, um, you will hear a sentence twice, mm -hmm. and then you will hear a question, right? Mm -hmm. And you have to pick one of these answers. Okay, so I'll tell you what they are. Vender is to sell. Oh, it's to sell. Pescar is to fish. Okay. Cocinar is to cook. Mm -hmm. And estudiar is to study. Study. Yes. Okay. Okay. okay, so you will hear in the exam this sentence. El muchacho se sentó. I'm putting it in the chat so you can see it. El muchacho se sentó en el escritorio. El escritorio con su tarea. El muchacho se sentó en el escritorio con su tarea. All right, it's in the chat. Okay. Okay, el muchacho, the boy, se sentó, sat down en el escritorio on the desk with his Homework is tarea. Okay. okay. Have D? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> D. Very good. All right. Okay. So let's move on. Melika, you're next. Uh, en la iglesia, en el mercado, en la clase, en la librería. Okay, I'll tell you. I'll tell you what those things mean. En la iglesia means in the ch in church. In Spanish, they say in. What, what number is that, Mr. Khan? Number 13. 13. 13. Okay, so in la iglesia is in the church. In Spanish, that's what they say in the church. But in English, we just say in church. Okay. In. Nada más para que sepan, Catherine y Yarima. Este, en inglés solamente se dice en iglesia, no se dice en la iglesia, ok, este, pero es lo mismo. Ok, um, profe. Y, e igual en el mercado. All right, so Melika, it's en la iglesia, it's in the church. In church. And en el mercado is in the market. In, in the market. In the market, in the mercado, exactly. Very good. In la clase is, who wants to guess? In class? In class. <laughs> <laughs> very good, very good. Yes, yes. In la librería. Sorry. In la librería. In the library. In, in the library. The, in the library. Very good. Well, no, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. In la librería, there was a good guess. There was a good guess. Ten points for, for the guess. But uh, librería is actually a bookstore. Okay. Librería is a bookstore. Bookstore. Library is biblioteca. Okay. Okay. But it, it was a good guess. It was a good guess. Because libro is book, right? Libro book. is book, yes. And the word library, I'm sure, comes from that root, libro. 
you know, the, the Latin or something. I'm sure it comes from that. Anyway, um, so let's let's do this. All right, let's do this. So I will say the sentence twice, and then you will tell you will choose the correct answer. Now in the exam you have to shade it, right? You see the the shade here. You take out your lapicero, which is your pencil, and you shade it. All right. So let's move on. All right. So you will hear a sentence twice, and then I will ask a question, and you choose the right answer. Okay. Okay. La familia está en misa. La familia está en misa. ¿Dónde está la familia? Nalika. You want to try? Yeah, I'm here. Yeah, I'll try. Mm -hmm. um, Something about the family, right? La familia, um, very good. Um, um, are they in the market, number two? B, sorry. Good attempt, good attempt. Good attempt. Ten points for trying. Um, la familia está en la en misa. Okay, so the family is in, is in church. Meet. Very good, yes. And okay. that answer would be? A. A, very good. Okay, so up next is, who hasn't gone yet? Kelsey. Kelsey, you want to try the next yes. one? All right, sure. great. All right, so you, you, you understand the instruction? Um, no, well, I just joined you, so I didn't, I was here no for the problem. instruction. I'll, I'll give it quick. The instruction is, you will hear a sentence twice, okay? And then you, you shade the right answer. So, for example, okay. you will hear, Mama, tengo muchísima sed. Mama, tengo muchísima sed. And then you will hear a question, ¿Qué quiere esta persona? And then you choose the right answer, A, B, C, or D. Okay, so we are, we are on 14. Okay, no problem. So I will put the question in the chat in Spanish because the instructions will be in English, but the questions will be in Spanish, right? And then you okay. have to choose that you have to shade one. So I'll put the question in Spanish. Um, my aunt. Al, ah, no, perdón, lo tengo que poner en español. Mi tía tiene COVID. Mi tía tiene COVID. Ok. <ríe> no es cierto, ¿eh? no es cierto. Es solamente para, para el examen. My, my, mi tía tiene COVID. Mi tía tiene COVID. Ok. My aunt has COVID. And the options are a, feliz, B, enferma, C, traviesa, D, simpática. Okay? Any, any of those words you don't understand, um, Kelsey? Of the four words uh, there, feliz is? Happy. Happy, very good. Enferma is? I'm not sure about that one. Sick. That one is sick. sick. Okay. Ah, Enferma okay. is sick. Enferma is sick. Traviesa is mischievous. Okay. Traviesa is mischievous. 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 Yeah. And is D sim sim sympathetic or? Close. Elena? Close. It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Simpatica. Nice. And somebody who's sympathetic is usually somebody who's nice, no? Yeah. Yes. Right. Right. So let's let's go with the question again. Mm -hmm. Mi tía tiene COVID. 
mi tía tiene COVID. ¿Cómo está mi tía? Okay, so I think that will be B. Very good. Enferma. Yes, enferma. Enferma, I have to say. Yes, sick. Okay. Profe, ¿puede decir mi tía tiene COVID en inglés? Yes, my aunt has COVID. My aunt has COVID. Okay. My aunt. Aunt, aunt yeah. Yeah, so aunt is, aunt, you have several words that sound like aunt in English. You have tia. And, and you also have aunt, which is hormiga. Ambas se pronuncian igual. Okay. Okay. Aunt es la diferencia es que la tía tiene una u. Aunt entre la a y la n. Okay. Um, and, mm -hmm. Algo más? No. No. Ok, entonces procedemos con la 15. Ok, malas noticias, buenas noticias, cuentos interesantes, informaciones nuevas. Um, anything you don't understand de Melika, Maria, Kelsey. Malas noticias. Yeah. Mm -hmm, which one? Um, oh. oh, no problem, <laughs> no problem, no problem. Um, so malas noticias is bad news. Malas noticias, bad news. Buenas mm -hmm. noticias, therefore, is? Good news. What? Good news. Good news, very good. Yes, buenas noticias. Maria again on bad. Maria again on bad. <laughs> Cuentos interesantes is interesting stories okay interesting yes okay. interesting stories and informaciones nuevas informaciones nuevas is new information right new information now okay. there are several things i could say about this but it would delay us a little bit so I'll try to say it very quickly. Información nueva is just as good as informaciones nuevas. Okay? okay. It means the same thing. But, and, and this is something CNC does. They, they, put, they put several options that can all work so that, you know, to keep you, to keep you um, on your toes. On your toes, yeah. Right? Este, para, para el beneficio de Caterin y Arima, este, lo que acaba de decir es que el CXC, fíjate que en la 15, la A, perdón, no, sí, la, las cuatro, malas noticias, buenas noticias, cuento interesante, e informaciones nuevas, la, en las cuatro se parece, ¿no? Más o menos. Entonces, ese es algo que hace el, el examinador eh, CXC, ponen opciones que se parecen para, para asegurarse de que estés prestando atención. Ok, y a los detalles. Ok, okay entonces, whose turn was it? Um, we just did Kelsey, so up next will be Catherine. Ok, so okay. I will put the sentence in the chat. And I will say it twice. Okay. Okay. Arima. Okay, sure. Is I have to put it in Spanish. Arima is está celebrando 133 años de existencia de existencia como ciudad sí como ciudad como pueblo 
como, como pueblo, pues, como aldea. A ver, bueno, vamos a dejar ciudad. Ok, so, Catherine, you will hear this sentence twice. The instruction will be in English, but the sentence will be in Spanish, and you will hear it twice, and then you will hear a question, ok? Ok. Arima está celebrando 133 años de existencia como ciudad. Arima está celebrando 133 años de existencia como ciudad. Uh, la, las, hold on, hold on. Let me ask the question. Las qué tipo de información es esa? Okay, uh, ahí me está bien. celebrando. Uh -huh. Yo pienso es cuentos interesantes. Excelente, excelente. Ok, cuentos interesantes. Me está celebrando 133 años de existencia como ciudad. Y en casos, ¿alguien tiene alguna otra, otra opinión? ¿Anyone has a second opinion? Ok, well, en CXC, very often, when two options when two answers can be correct you will get both you'll get the points for both okay so cuentos interesantes excellent that is correct um arima está celebrando 133 años de existencia como ciudad qué tipo de información es eh, cuentos interesantes um yes it's really cuentos interesantes es really cuentos interesantes. Es uh -huh. Because it's not oh. exactly news. It's not buena. It's not. I mean, it's good news. It's buenas noticias. But it's not uh, like news, you know, no, media news. Informaciones nuevas. Uh -huh. Okay, so 16 after Catherine. Vamos con Yarima. Ok, Yarima, vamos a paseante, mendigo, vendedor, cobrador. Ok, so you will hear, you will hear the instruct, the sentence twice, and then a question, and then you choose the answer. Ok, so let me put it in the chat. Lo voy a poner en el chat, la oración dos veces. Ok. La tarjera es con la tarjera quiere el dinero. La tarjera quiere el dinero. No, no poner. El señor en el señor no un tipo un tipo un tipo alguien. Un pobre, ok, un pobre me pidió dinero en la calle. Un pobre me pidió dinero en la calle. Un pobre me pidió dinero en la calle. ¿Qué? ¿Quién es? ¿Quién me pidió dinero en la calle? Mendigo. Mendigo, ok, muy fácil. 
Okay, so hice esa parte rapidísimo porque para ustedes debería ser súper fácil esa parte, ¿no? Um, so, let me just go over. Let me just go over the words so that everybody knows what it is, right? Paseante is like, uh, paseante is a, is a, is a pedestrian. Pedestrian. Paseante. Pedestrian. Pedestrian. You, we can say it together. Pedestrian. 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 Okay, mendigo. Mendigo is a beggar. All right, and then vendedor. Okay, this one, who wants to guess? A vendor. Vendor, very good. You're on fire, Malika. A vendor. Right, vendedor is a vendor. And a cobrador. Don't say cobra. <laughs> what is a cobrador? Who wants to guess? Uh, it's not a cobra, it's not a snake. A coordinator, I don't know. A All conductor. Right. <laughs> Tell them. Tell them what is a cobrador, Kati. I don't know. All right. A cobrador <laughs> is a collector. Okay, so. Like, ¿Cobrador es qué? Collector. Collector. Yeah, yes, a collector. So you have very, this is a this is a very common phrase you'll hear in English, tax collector. Okay? El cobrador de impuestos, el que, el que, cobra, el, bueno. Tax collector. Tax collector, okay? Um, so, so, but just for everyone's benefit, cobra in English, is a culebra, okay? Eh, en inglés, cobra es un es una culebra, un tipo de serpiente, okay? Para uh -huh. que vayan a este, ofrecerle cobras a la gente por ahí, oh. okay? Este, entonces, eh, ¿quién le toca próximo? Ah, mira, terminamos el ejercicio. Sí, terminamos el ejercicio. Ok, entonces vamos a practicar un poquito de pronunciación otra vez. A ver, first selection, second selection. All right, let's try to read this together. Okay. Turn on your microphones. Instructions. Instructions. In this section, this section, you will hear, hear a, series a series of public announcements, announcements. or selections or followed by a number of, of questions. questions. Of question. Each, Each announcement, announcement. or selection. selection. Twice for each question, there each question there is, is a choice of four responses or completions. Completion. Select completion. Best, the best response, response. Best. and change corresponding space on your answer sheet. There's no sound for the section. Okay, so very similar, muy parecido al anterior, al ejercicio anterior. En esta sección vas a escuchar una serie de anuncios o oraciones, seguido por unas preguntas, cada anuncio se leerá dos veces, para cada pregunta um, hay cuatro opciones 
y bueno, simplemente tiene que seleccionar el, el que corresponde, ¿ok? Entonces vamos uh, con el 17. Uh, whose turn was it? We just did catering, so it's now Yarima. Or did we do Yarima? Yes, am I, in the, am I correct? Whose turn is it? I get lost on the You lost track? I get lost on the lost track. Uh, <laughs> I think it's Yarima. Yeah. I think it's Yarima. Okay, so I will put the sentence twice. Wait, let's, you know how we'll remember? We just go back to the last one. Oh, no, 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 no. We just did Yarima. We just did Yarima. Yarima was paseante, mendigo, vendedor, cobrador. Okay. Sorry, Yarima. Uh, the next person, therefore, will have to be. Catherine Yarima after Catherine was Malika or was it Maria? We lost track, it doesn't matter. We will we will do Malika and then Maria and then Kelsey. Okay, so same thing, you will hear a sentence twice. So anoche is is last night. Esta tarde is this evening. Hace un año is one year ago, and esta mañana, who can guess what esta mañana is? In the morning? This morning, this right? Morning. So anoche, last night, last night, which is separate from noche, which is, two, which is noche is just night. Okay, but okay. anoche is last night. <clears throat> anoche is last night. Yeah, and then hace un año. Now, me faltan eh, los tildes en el teclado. No tengo tilde. Me falt I, I don't have a tilde on my N. It should be N, right? Hace un año. And same thing esta mañana, hace un año, okay. hace, hace un año, año so is, la, is, is, it can be last year or when one you? year ago. Okay, hace un año, last year or one year ago. And then, what's the next one? Um, esta, man esta mañana, very good. Esta mañana. This morning. This morning. This morning. Okay, esta mañana, this morning. Mm -hmm. All right. So we were doing Malika, I believe, because we did Yarima, yeah, we did Kati. Uh, so now it's Malika, and then the Malika, Maria, and Kelsey. All right, so you will hear the sentence twice, and then you will hear a question, right? El 10 de enero celebramos Después del trabajo con una cerveza. El 10 de enero, el, I'll put it in the chat, el 10 de enero celebramos después del trabajo con una cerveza. A ver, sí. El 10 de enero celebramos después del trabajo con una cerveza. ¿Cuándo celebramos con una cerveza? ¿Cuándo celebramos con una cerveza? That is Melika. I just go back in the chat. I'm going to see over the question. Mm -hmm. Mm 
So, um, dinero is money, right? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah? The, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Dinero is money, but mm -hmm. does not. I'll put it in the chat again. El 10 de enero, right? That's the 10th of January. Celebramos. Después. Celebrate. Right. El trabajo. Trabajo. Con una cerveza. El 10 de enero. Celebramos después del trabajo con una cerveza. Is it um? Cuando? Si? No, no, no. You have, si, to listen, um, si? you have to wait for the question. Oh, okay. So the question okay. is: Cuando celebramos con una cerveza? It's a when question, right? So these these answers here are uh -huh. times. Right, anoche mm -hmm. is last night. Es yeah. Tarde is this evening. This mm -hmm. evening. Hace un año is a year ago, and esta mañana is this morning. So, el 10 de enero celebramos uh, mm -hmm. después del trabajo con una cerveza. And the question is, ¿cuándo celebramos con una cerveza? So the question when, basically asks me when the celebration yes, was. Yes. Um, anoche. Anoche, very good. That is correct. Anoche it is indeed. Yes, correct. E, anoche. So you would shed. E. E, right? Uh, very good. Okay, so next is Kelsey. No, did I say Maria? Sorry, Maria. Okay, so there are four words there, Maria. Tell me which one you don't understand. Un robo, un fraude, un asesinato, una violación. Which one you don't understand? Which one you want me to tell you? All. All, all right. The first one is robbery. The second one is fraud. Robbery. Second one is fraud. Fraud. Mm -hmm. And un asesinato. I, I love it when you make associations with words, right? Because that way you, you figure them out, right? What's a synonym for a uh, killer? Assassin. Assassin. Oh gosh, she on hmm. fire. Assassin, right? So un asesinato. <laughs> <laughs> so un asesinato is what? Hmm. Look, look at the look at the trend, right? Un robo, a robbery. Un fraude, a fraud. fraud. Un asesinato, and if as as assassino is assassin, what do you think assassin. assassinato is? Killer. Close, close, it's a murder. A murder? A murder, yeah. A murder. It's a murder or a murder? A murder. No. Okay. The it's the the crime. It's not the person. Oh, it's the crime they commit. Yeah. Assassinato. So it's the act. It's the crime committed, all right. Yeah. A murder, or you could say an assassination. Assassination. Oh. Okay. An assassination. All right. Another one assassination. And the other one would be hmm, violate your what? Violence? Una violación is Violence? yeah no it's actually a rape. Una violación. Rape? Yes. Violación is actually a rape. Okay. okay. Este para el beneficio de Tati y Yarima, eh, violación no es violation. Okay. Hay mm -hmm. otra palabra en inglés que es violation. 
Okay, sí. violation es más como un asalto. Yeah. Ok, violation es asalto. Violación es rip, que es otra cosa, que es el acoso sexual más o menos. Ok. Y violencia, bro. Violencia es violence. Uh, ok. So, okay. let me just plug in my computer because the battery is dying and I will come back with a question for Maria. Okay, don't go. I'm just going to plug in my computer right here. Right. You see how quick that was? Okay, so... Where will we? Um, Question. Yes. So the so you you're gonna hear you're gonna hear a sentence twice, and then I'm going to ask you a question, right? So let me put the sentence in the chat. Um, the lawyer. I have to put it in Spanish. El abogado. Um, sí, un, el abogado fingió su firma. El abogado fingió la firma de su cliente. El abogado fingió la firma de su cliente. Ok. The lawyer, el abogado, fingió fake la firma y signature de su cliente. All right. The, the lawyer faked his client signature. El abogado fingió la firma de su cliente. ¿Qué cometió el abogado? All right, so I'll, in the exam you'll hear it twice. El abogado fingió la firma de su cliente. ¿Qué cometió el abogado? You ready for me, Mr. Yes. Yes. Could it be B? Is it? B? Very good. Yes, B. Un fraude. <laughs> Un fraude. Yes, that is correct. All right. And then we are on to Kelsey. Okay. So uh, should I go through all those words, Kelsey? Humilde yes, please. Is humble, orgulloso. Is that organized? No. No, it's proud. Really? Okay. Yeah, proud as a peacock. But it was a good guess. It was a good guess. Peligroso is dangerous. Dangerous? Dangerous. And the most difficult one, inoffensivo. Offensive? The opposite. Inoffensive. Jesus. Offensive. Inoffensive. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right. And so you'll hear the sentence twice. Um, yeah. Es un riesgo eh, caminar en la autopista. Es un riesgo, es riesgoso. ¿Cómo poner es riesgoso? Es riesgoso caminar en la autopista. ¿Cómo es caminar? en la auto 
autopista. Vamos caminar en la autopista. Vamos a caminar. Ok, so Kelsey, you will hear the sentence twice and then the question and then you choose the answer, right? Okay. Es riesgoso caminar en la autopista. Es riego, riesgoso caminar en la autopista. ¿Cómo es caminar en la autopista? Is it sí? Very good. Sí. Peligroso. It's dangerous to walk on the highway. Ok. Uh, we did Kelsey, so now we are back to Catherine. Catherine. Okay. En el río, en el banco, en la playa, en la piscina. So. My, mi familia. Está jugando waterpolo. No. ¿Sabe qué es waterpolo, Katy? Sí. Waterpolo. Ah. En la piscina, no sé. En la piscina, exacto, exacto. Ok, muy bien. ¿Sí? Sí, sí. En la piscina, pero, pero hice la pregunta mal. Mi familia está jugando en la... Uh, está jugando water polo. Este, y la pregunta hubiese sido, ¿dónde está mi familia? Right? And, y la respuesta correcta que ya... Diste es en la piscina. Ok, este. Pero por lo fácil okay. que es, por lo fácil que es, aún antes de terminar la pregunta ya sabías este, la respuesta. <risa> sí, porque era fácil. Ok, entonces luego vamos a pasar a Yarima. Ok. Y Arima, nos encanta tu nombre. Este, do you see the, do you see the, you see that her name has Arima in it? Melika? Yeah. Maria and Kelsey, you see that? Yeah. Can I yeah. get in front of my screen? Your, your, your name has the word of the constituency where we work. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Yarima. Very, very interesting coincidence. Yarima. Okay, anyway. Um, so, so Yarima, it's your turn. So there are four words there. Now she is going to know what each one means, right? But just for your benefit, el nadador is the swimmer. El pescador is the fisherman. Let me put fisherman. the picture. Yeah, What's so nadador one? is swimmer. The first one is, sorry. Swimmer. Nadador. Nadador in English? Uh -huh. Pescador is swimmer. Mm. Right? Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Pescador is fisherman. Mm -hmm. Y nadador. Nadador es swimmer. Nadador. Nadador. Eh, nadador. Swimmer. Okay, pescador es fisherman. Policía. Es policía. Poli. Uh -huh, very good. Es the right thing. <laughs> Salvavidas. <laughs> Huh, who wants to guess what is a salvavidas? The civilian? <laughs> well, he is a civilian, but um, he's a lifeguard, right? Salva is to save, and vidas is lives. So he's a lifeguard. 
Okay. So we will put here. Um, we'll put the, the sentence and then you hear the sentence twice and then you hear the question, right? So in La Playa, Alguien le dijo a la chica que no nade en el fondo del mar. ¿Sí? Alguien le dijo a la chica que no nade en el en el en la parte en la parte honda o en las honduras 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 alguien le dijo a la chica que no nade en las Honduras del Mar. Um, alguien le dijo a la chica que no nade en las Honduras del Mar. ¿Quién? ¿Quién le dijo a la chica que no nade en las Honduras del mar. ¿Quién le dijo a la chica que no nade en las Honduras del mar? Ok, Kelsey, ¿estás listo? Es Kelsey. Yes, ¿eh? yeah. <laughs> ok, so you'll hear the sentence twice and then the question. And then you choose one of the answers, right? El nadador, el pescador, el policía o el salvavidas. Ok. Right? Que alguien le dijo a la chica que no nade en las honduras del mar. Alguien le dijo a la chica que no nade en las honduras del mar. ¿Quién le dijo a la chica que no nade en las honduras del mar? Okay, so I think. I would say B. D. D is your right answer. Did you say B or D? B. Okay, so someone told the girl not to swim. Alguien le dijo a la chica. Someone told the girl. Mm -hmm. Que no nade en las Honduras. I keep putting Honduras as a capital with a capital H, but in this context, it would actually be Honduras. Okay, someone told the girl, don't swim in the deep of the sea. Right? Oh, okay. And then the question is, like which would be? D, we like D, that. El salvavidas. El okay. salvavidas. Very good, uh, el salvavidas. Okay, so that was Kelsey. Uh, up next would be, be back to Katy. Katerine. That was fun. Did I, did I do everyone in that round? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Okay. So we have four words here. Humilde. No, we did that one already. So we are on 22. 22. Okay. 22. I wonder how do I erase the arrow? 
that somebody put there. Okay, anyway, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'm sure there's a way. Tú sabes cómo borrar el, el, la flechita que pusieron ahí. No, no importa, no importa. Aprovechamos la flecha y la utilizamos para indicar dónde estamos. So, number 22. Estamos en la 22, Caterin. A hablar con el jefe, no pescar en el mar, bañarse cerca de la playa, no hacer caso a los anuncios. Ok, entonces, okay. igual este, voy a poner una oración, voy a decir una oración dos veces y luego la pregunta y luego escoges la respuesta correcta. Okay. Um, este cerca vamos a poner en el chat para el beneficio de todos cerca del pozo petrolero cerca del pozo petrolero hay un letrero que prohíbe que prohíbe que prohíbe este, que prohíbe las redes cerca del pozo petrolero hay un letrero que prohíbe las redes ok la pregunta Cerca del pozo petrolero hay un letrero que prohíbe las redes. ¿Qué quiere? ¿Qué quieren las autoridades prevenir? ¿Qué quieren las autoridades prevenir? Ya va. Quieren las autoridades prevenir. Ok, cerca del pozo petrolero hay un letrero que prohíbe las redes. ¿Qué quieren las autoridades prevenir? ¿Cati? Ay, profe. Ok, este... Cerca del pozo. Cerca del pozo petrolero hay un letrero que prohíbe las redes. Uh -huh. Las redes pesqueras, digamos. ¿Será la B? La B, exactamente. No exactamente. No pescar en el mar. Ok, exactamente. Correcto. Este, pero sí, en, el examen no va a ser tan difícil. Yo, yo, yo la puse un poquito difícil. Pero hubiese dicho las redes pesqueras. Ok, así... Así hubiese sido un poquito más accesible bañarse cerca de la playa. Ok, este, pero bien, 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 este, bajo las circunstancias, igualito, este, a pesar de mí, seleccionaste la respuesta que es. Ok, luego, este, quieren un... ¿Quieren un break o, o van bien? ¿Cómo se sienten? ¿Le toca a Yarima próximamente? ¿Es Yarima's turn next? Yes. Ok. Very good. So let's read the instructions together. All right. Y passage, passage in Spanish. In Spanish. Has I just been read, read to you. To you. you may now study, study question, question and answer. Yeah, I need, I need, I need to make it a little smaller. Sorry. Answer and make notes. And make notes. Uh huh. Can you see? All right. 
the passage, passage in Spanish, in Spanish has, has just been read, been read to, you. to you. You may now study the question and make You must select the best answer as she is responding on the answer she has provided. Okay, so in this case, it would have to be a, it would have to be a, a passage that would be read to you, all right? Um, and we don't have that passage right now, but what we will do is we will use the questions to, to teach some, Spanish and English, okay, on both sides. All right, so let's go with 23, and we were at Yarima. Okay, which birthday was Manuel celebrating? So, so let me just explain the instruction. Okay, Yarima, está conmigo? Entonces, la instrucción. Entendiste la instrucción? Es que lo, lo que van a hacer es leer un, van a leer un, un, este, un párrafo y es como comprensión. It, it's like comprehension. Okay, so you will listening comprehension. So you will hear the passage in Spanish and you have to answer the questions in English. Okay, me explico. ¿Me entiende, Katy y Arima? Lo, en esta parte, lo que van a... Yo lo vamos a leer en español. ¿Perdón? Lo vamos a leer en inglés o en español. Sí. Este, no, en el examen, lo que estaba explicando es que en el examen, les va, el examinador les va a leer un párrafo en español. Okay. Okay. Y tienen que responder a las preguntas para ver si comprendes para, para para tienen que responder a las preguntas en inglés preguntas de comprensión para asegurar porque acuérdate que este examen se le se le se le da a los eh, a los alumnos eh, del Caribe no del Caribe que habla inglés entonces la mayoría de las preguntas este están en español, pero algunas preguntas están en inglés para medir la comprensión. Ok, entonces, yo voy, en este caso, como no tengo el párrafo, lo que voy a hacer es dictar una oración y, y hacerte la pregunta en inglés y tú me indicas cuál es la respuesta correcta. Ok. Ok. Han pasado han pasado diez años desde su nacimiento. Han pasado diez años desde su nacimiento. Yarima, which birthday? Was Manuel celebrating? Ten years. Right. So the answer would be? C. C. Very good. Okay. 24. Up next is Malika. What was okay. special about this occasion? So you understand the instruction, Malika? I will say a I sentence so, yeah. in okay. Spanish and very easy, you, you respond in English. You pick the right answer, right? Mm -hmm. What was his, what was special about this occasion? The options are he could invite all his friends. His favorite teacher would be there. All his family members would be there. It was the first time he would celebrate with a party. Okay. Um, one. Diego puede 
invitar a todos sus amigos. Juan Diego puede invitar a todos sus amigos a su cumpleaños. Ok, de nuevo perdona la falta del tile. Again, there should be a N, N, on the, on the N en cumpleaños. Ok, but I'll put it one more time. Juan Diego puede invitar a todos sus amigos a su cumpleaños. Ok, so you will hear that. Juan Diego puede invitar. Ok, the spell, the spell corrector keeps changing my word. It's invitar. It's not invitar. Ok. Uh -huh. el, el, el autocorrect me, es, me está cambiando la palabra, pero la palabra es invitar. Invitar. Ok. Juan Diego. The spell check keeps changing my word. But the, the sentence is Juan, Juan Diego puede invitar. I'll put it one more time. Juan Diego puede invitar a todos sus amigos a su cumpleaños. Juan Diego puede, puede invitar. Tú ves que me cambió la palabra otra vez. El, el check. Juan Diego puede invitar a todos sus amigos a su cumpleaños. Ok, and the question is, what was special about this occasion? Mm, and this was just... Juan Diego. See? It was the first time he will celebrate with a party. All right, all right. It could be, it could be, but uh, that is a good, good guess. Let's, uh, Juan Diego puede invitar a todos sus amigos. Let me give you some clues. Or let me help you look for some clues. Juan Diego puede invitar is to invite. Invite. Right? Yeah. Invitar mm -hmm. is to invite. And amigos is? It's his friends. His friends, right? So let's try it Compliano again. Compleanos is birthday, right? Birthday, exactly. Juan Diego is... Now it could be it was the first time he said he would celebrate with a party, but we don't know that from the sentence. All we know from the sentence is that Juan Diego puede, where that? Okay, my chat button is Juan Diego. What was special? What was special puede. about it? Is a he could invite all his friends. Yes, correct. He could invite all his friends, right? Because the sentence is Juan Diego. Puede invitar. Let me put it in the chat. Juan Diego puede invitar. Juan Diego can invite all his friends to his birthday. So what was special about the occasion? He could invite all his friends. Okay. Uh, up next would be Maria. Mm -hmm. Are we giving you a headache? I see you holding your head. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Um, who had planned the celebration? Okay, who had planned the celebration? So again, I have to put the sentence in Spanish and then okay. you will answer in English, right? Okay. Um, Los compañeros del salón, los compañeros del salón planificaron, planificaron, los compañeros del salón planificaron su fiesta de cumpleaños. Okay, so again, we are missing some tildes. There should mm -hmm. be a ñe on compañeros. And there should be a ñe on cumpleaños. Okay, but other than that, that's the sentence. Los compañeros 
del salón planificaron su fiesta de cumpleaños. So, compañeros, uh, what does it sound like? Um, his friend, neighborhood friend. Companions, right? Very good. Companions planificaron. Salón is a classroom. Okay, okay. salón is a classroom. Planificaron sounds like. A plan, with the plan right? And cumpleaños is, we just did that. Serious? Hmm. With the, right? With the um. cumpleaños. So, los compañeros del salón planificaron su fiesta de cumpleaños. Who planned the celebration? Hmm. Is it D? Which one? D, D like one His people. Is, is uh, okay. Um, compañeros is companions. Salon okay. is classroom. Right? Okay, okay. So oh, try again. B, B, correct. Yes, his okay. classmates. Right. His uh, classmates plan the celebration. Okay, okay 26. Right. And we're on to Kelsey. And... Um, We want to Kelsey. Why did the planners take pleasure in organizing this party for Manuel? Right? So I have to give you the sentence in Spanish. Okay, okay. they enjoyed planning parties. Manuel normally planned their parties. He was kind and hardworking. He had finally received good grades. Okay, so his classmates planned the party. So therefore, um, a sus compañeros les encanta organizar, les encanta festejar y Planificar, planificar. Ok, a sus compañeros les encanta. I didn't hear you. That was for me. Oh no, sorry. <laughs> ok, all right. Ok, so Kelsey, it's your turn. Um, the, the sentence is, a sus compañeros les encanta festejar y planificar. I just dropped it in the chat. I Any think it would be it. They enjoy the planning party. Yes, exactly. Very good. It is indeed a. Let's just finish this exercise and we'll call it a day, right? So we're on to part B now. Um, part B and we are back to Katerin. Katerin. Está aquí. Sí. Sí, profe, yo estoy aquí. Excelente. Excelente. Mi Excelente internet está, está muy. ¿Mm? Lo que pasa es que el wifi está muy malo y entonces a veces escucho okay. entre cosas. Ningún pero problema. Te... Cualquier cosa me avisa, cualquier cosa me avisa, pero yo, yo, este, está, estamos bien. Entiendes las instrucciones, ¿no? Sí, sí. Excelente. Yo lo estoy escuchando. Excelente. Ok, entonces, vamos a poner, with whom did Manuel spend the first part of the day? His grandfather, his grandmother, his other teachers, his friends at school. ¿Alguna de esas palabras en la 27? ¿Alguna palabra en la 27 que no entiendes, Caterin? Antes de hacer la pregunta. La palabra 27. No, la pregunta 27, quiero asegurarme de que comprendas eh, todas las palabras ahí. ¿Sabes qué es un grandfather? Grandfather. Ajá. Uh -huh. Yeah, sí, sí sé. Oh, well, ok, grandmother is other teachers, is friends at school. Yes. Ok, entiendes toda la palabra, excelente. Uh -huh. Ok, vamos entonces a poner la oración. Ok. 
ok y después de después de abrazar no, después de abrazar a su abuela Manuel eh, al colegio. Ok, después de abrazar a su abuela, Manuel fue al colegio. Después de abrazar a su abuela, Manuel fue al colegio. With whom, Catherine, with whom uh -huh. did Manuel spend the first part of the day? Después de abrazar a su abuela, Manuel fue al colegio. Exacto. With whom did Manuel spend the first part of the day? Okay. Profe, pero no entiendo qué tengo que decir. ¿Qué hizo él después? Ok. Eh, la, primero abrazó a su abuela, entonces luego fue al colegio. His abuela. Exacto. ¿Qué sería cuál en la 27? La moda. Opción B. B, exacto, perfecto. Excelente. Ok, okay. la 28. What? Special gift did Manuel receive? Okay, a printer, an iPod, a Walkman, a computer. Alguna de esas palabras le toca a Yarima. Alguna de esas palabras, este, eh, las traduzco o las conoces todas en la 28? No las conozco, profe. Okay, ningún problema. What special gift did Manuel receive? Lo que está preguntando es ahí, what es qué special gift, regalo especial, did Manuel receive? Recibió Manuel. ¿Qué regalo especial recibió Manuel? La A es una impresora. La B es un iPod. Ok, un iPod este, es algo viejo que casi ya no se ve, ¿no? Pero era... Era el dispositivo que se ponía, donde se ponía música y M MP3 y se escuchaba por, es, 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 es portátil, ¿no? Es como un, el, el antiguo Walkman, el antiguo, sí, es como un, un dispositivo pequeño. Pues. Un Walkman es, bueno, eso tampoco ya, ya no se ve. Un Walkman es el... Es otro dispositivo, pero con casete. ¿Sabe qué es un casete? Sí. Sí, ok. Y luego la computadora. Ok, okay. entonces, okay. la computer es la computadora. Ok, a Walkman es a Walkman. Y a printer es a Microsoft. Ok, entonces, vas a escuchar la oración en español. Y luego la pregunta va a estar en inglés y tiene que seleccionar. Okay. So, okay. Si, listos. Uh, what special gift did Manuel receive? Okay, so um, Gabriela le regaló a Manuel su eh, laptop, no, el último, el último laptop de la Macintosh que Manuel siempre quería quería ok, Gabriela re le regaló a Manuel el último laptop de la Macintosh y Manuel siempre quería what special gift did Manuel receive Yarima D. D. D, a computer. Very good. 
a conclusion. Yes. Okay. After Yarima is supposed to be Malika. Malika. Okay. So how did Manuel feel when he returned home? Tired, anxious, surprised, overwhelmed. Okay. So let me put those words in Spanish. The one. Let's move this over here. Let's come over here. Overwhelmed. 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 Okay, abrumado, abrumada. Okay, yeah, it's something like that. Something like that. Overwhelmed is, uh, let me just explain it for Kathy's benefit and for um, Yarima's benefit. Overwhelmed is como, bueno, aquí oficialmente la traducción es abrumado, pero es como este. Um, super eh, emocionado, super este, afectado, digamos. Ok, surprised is sorprendido. And Melika, you would, you would hear these words as well. Overwhelmed, abrumado, surprised, sorprendido, anxious, puede ser ansioso, and tired is cansado. Ok. Tired is cansado. Okay. All right. So I'll put the sentence in Spanish. Manuel se tiró a la cama de cansancio al llegar a su casa. Manuel. Manuel se tiró a la cama de cansancio. Oh, no, no, perdón. Manuel, Manuel se tiró. ¿Cómo, cómo dirías eso? Este, Manuel se tiró a la cama de cansancio. Well, let's make it. I'm giving, I'm giving Malik all the hard ones. Let me make it easier. Manuel se acostó. Porque estaba muy cansado al llegar a casa. Ok. Manuel se acostó porque estaba muy cansado al llegar a su casa. You with me, Malika? Yes, I'm here. All right. Acostarse. Acostarse is to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm giving you clues. Acostarse is to go to sleep. And llegar a su casa is to arrive home. Right? Anything else? No. All right. So the question is, so the sentence is, Manuel se acostó porque estaba muy cansado. Al llegar a su casa. Manuel se acostó porque estaba muy cansado al llegar a su casa. How did Manuel feel when he returned home? He felt tired. Eh? Tired. Eh? Very good. Okay. And finally, for today, number 30, why did the guests enjoy themselves? After Malika, it's we are on Maria. Why did the guests enjoy themselves? Okay, so let me just put all of that in Spanish so that you will so that when you hear it in Spanish, you will you will have an idea what it is. Okay, porque los invitados. Porque Mm, why did the guests enjoy themselves? Porque gozaron los invitados. Okay, that's why did the guests enjoy themselves? Porque los invitados. The music was great. Everyone got parting gifts. So the music was great. Music is musica. Okay, that's easy. 
I, I probably don't even need to put that in the chat. Music is music is uh, great. La música estaba buena. Or you could say la música estaba maravillosa. La música estaba eh, estupenda. ¿Qué más dirías, Yarima? La música was great. La música estaba. Estaba feliz, pues. Everyone got parting Excelente. gifts. A Excelente. todos. Excelente. Uh -huh. A todos les se les dio. A todos se les dio regalos de despedida. Despedida. A todos se les dio regalos de despedida. Ok. Este, ¿Cómo se llama esa bolsita que se le da a los niños cuando se van de la fiesta? Botillón. ¿Cómo? No sé en inglés, pero en Venezuela le decimos cotillón. Cotillón. Ok. 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 A todos se les dio regalos de despedida. Y qué más, qué más, qué más. The house was well decorated. 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 La casa estaba bien puesta o bien decorada. Bien este, decorated. Um, ¿Cómo dirías decorated? Decorated es como... A ver, ¿qué nos dice el diccionario? Decorated. Decorado, sí, decorada. La casa estaba bien decorada, sí, está bien. Adornada. Con de, oh, sí, adornada, adornada. Ok, y luego y finalmente, there was much to eat and drink. Había mucho de comer y beber. ¿De acuerdo? All right. So the last person was supposed to be, we just did um, Maria. Malika. So the last person is Maria. Okay, mm -hmm. so let me give you the sentence, Maria, and we will close off after that, right? Why did the guests enjoy themselves? Okay. Mm -hmm. Music was great. The house was well decorated. Este, la belleza de los adornos hizo un ambiente espectacular, espectacular. Espectacular para los invitados. La belleza de los adornos hizo un ambiente espectacular para los invitados. Ok. La belleza de los adornos hizo un ambiente espectacular para los invitados. Did I make that too hard, Maria? Why did the guests enjoy themselves? Say that again. Okay. La belleza is the beauty. Los adornos is the um, adornments or the decorations, the decorations, mm -hmm. which made a spectacular environment for the guests. Okay. So why did the guests enjoy themselves? Hmm. Let me see. See, sí, correct. Yes. The house was well decorated. Okay. So you can um, turn on your microphones and give yourselves a round of applause. Yay. We had a good class. We had a good yeah. class. I think. Yeah. All right. So, 
um, finishing a little early, so if anybody needs to go Second, to we were supposed to, um, I think, is it as best or one of the two things we are supposed to do? Me? We were supposed Remind to me? do. I can't remember if it was the alphabet or if it was oh, yes. the yes, numbers yes, or something. Yes. yes, we are supposed to do alphabet and numbers. Okay, so um, uh, Yarima y Kati, este, vamos a terminar con, con este, el alfabet. El, el alfabet. El, el, alfabeto con el alfabeto vamos a terminar con el alfabeto y vamos a hacer unos números este numbers ok vamos a terminar con el alfabeto y con uh, entonces exacto si desean este que, eh, quedarse por supuesto bienvenidas Este, yo voy a buscarme un poquito de, de té o agua, pero no se van a perder mucho si se tienen que ir. Yo sé que es un día laboral, pero este, cuando regrese, eh, vamos a hacer el alfabeto y algunos números en español. Okay, entonces va, vamos a hacer A, B, C, D, E, etc. Ok, entonces como, como quieran. Ok, voy a buscar un cafecito. Profe, yo me quisiera quedar, pero tengo que ir a trabajar ahorita. Ok, ok. Bueno, gracias por venir. Un placer verte de, de nuevo Hola. siempre. Y este, vuelvo ahorita. Nos vemos uh -huh. en la otra clase. En la otra clase que será el... Eh, va, va a ser el jueves en la mañana. Yo sé que... El jueves en la mañana. ¿Perdón? El jueves en la mañana. El, jue, el jueves en la mañana a las 10. Normalmente ah. serían los viernes en la tarde, pero este viernes hay un, hay un pequeño inconveniente con, el, con otros compromisos y el parlamento, etc y no sé qué más entonces este vamos a la próxima clase va a ser el jueves a las 10 aquí mismo en el mismo link bueno está bien ok Yarima igual este te puedes quedar este cuando regresemos vamos a hacer el alfabeto y unos números y el, en la próxima clase si te tiene que ir la próxima clase va a ser el jueves a las 10 aquí mismo en el mismo link ok Katy, gracias por venir de nuevo. Este, que te vaya bien. Gracias. Entonces nos vemos el jueves. Excelente. Que te vaya bien en el trabajo. Este, vuelvo gracias. ahorita. Ok. Uh -huh. no, no cuelguen nadie. Bueno, salvo las que se tienen que ir. No, no hace falta colgarse. Yo me voy a parar. Voy a buscarme un cafecito y vuelvo. Ok. Y así pueden aprovechar los minutos. Si tienen que irse al baño o no sé qué. All right, if anyone needs to go to the bathroom, when we come back, we're going to do the alphabet and then we're going to do some numbers in Spanish. Okay, we're going to practice numbers and the alphabet in Spanish. All right, so I will be right back. Don't, there's no need to hang up. You can just, um, uh, yeah, just mute yourself or, or whatever and you'll be right back. Okay. So we could do some practice, right? 
If you can, if you can't, no problem. <clears throat> but I'm going to start. Mm -hmm. Okay, the alphabet. Ah. 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 B. 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 C. C. D. D. A. 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 F. 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 H. H. Is it over? H. G is what? H. G is H. 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 Okay. H is Achi. 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 E. 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 Hota. 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 Ka. L. L. M. 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 N. 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 O. O. P. P. Q. Q. R. R. S. S. T. T. U. U. V. 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 Now, there are, some people will say, some people will say V, some people will say UV. Some people will, mm -hmm. now V, and B sound very similar, mm -hmm. right? The B and the V sound very similar. So mm -hmm. what some people do is they say, to make sure you know which one, they say V corta, which is V, v corta. or okay. V baja. Or V, v chica. chica. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, it's like, it's like, our in English we have when you call it teens, we have 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, right? And sometimes when you hear 19, you have to ask, is it 90 or 19? Yeah. <laughs> no? So they have the same problem with V. Sometimes you have to clarify. Now, what we would do in English, if we are clarifying, you would say nine zero or one nine, right? Mm -hmm. if, if you're unclear whether the person said 19 or 90. In Spanish, when they want to clarify whether it is V or B, they would say V corta or V alta. V alta, V alta would be the B and V corta would be the, the V. You also might hear people saying V labial, uh, V labial and V vocal. Okay, V vocal is the V and V labial is the B. Am I going good so far, Yarima? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Doble. Yarima, es, es, ¿estaba bien yo? Sí. Bien? Sí. sí. Okay. So we are continuing. Double, um, w. We're continuing. Doble U. W. 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 You will also hear W. W. 
Both are correct. Okay. Both are correct. W or W. Okay, now I know um, there's a bunch of 90s babies in here. So you may not know, <laughs> but the but the older folk know that there was a time when W in English, some people would say W and there was another word for W. Another way, even in English, we had two ways of saying W. Anybody remembers what the other one was? No. no. What's the 90s babies, boy? 90s babies. <laughs> no, but there was, there was. I, I'm, I'm trying to remember what it was myself. But I remember my grandmother saying it. I remember hearing it from old people. There was a second way to say W. I don't remember if it was double V. But there was a second way. Anyway. Um, so... Okay, so let's do that again. Double U. Double U. Or double V. Double V. Or you can also say U V double. U V double. Or you can also say double U. Double U V. Double U. Right, so you, you just say which one you're comfortable with, but know all of them because you never know which one you might be tested on. Mm -hmm. W is the most common one. Um, w, just like English, W, right? W. Um, you, you would also hear W. Some, you know, it, it also varies on, from country to country. Some countries might have, um, some countries might say more W, some countries might say more W. Anyway, let's carry on. We're almost done. X. 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 Say the word. X. 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 Okay. Y. Griega. Y. Y. Griega. Y. Griega. Y. Griega. Yeah. Griega. Yeah. Both are, you will also hear J. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Both are correct. And again, it depends on the, the country. So like in Europe, they might say, you know, in Spain, they might say something and in South America, they might say something else, but both are correct. Okay. What I have heard in Latin America, the most is Y, but you will hear J. Yeah, some people will say J, some people say Y. Yeah. 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 Right. And finally, Zeta. Zeta. Juntos. Zeta. 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 Okay. Yes. We have five minutes left. So let us move on to some pronunciations of some of these words. We'll go backwards. We'll go up. We'll go. We'll start with Z and go up. Right. So repeat after me. Sarsamora. 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 Okay. This is for you to practice the letters, right? Okay. Jojo. 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 Mm -hmm. Sexto. Sexto. So the X in Sexto. Spanish is like an S in English. Okay. 
right? So they say sexto. Sexto. Yeah. So whenever you see it, most of the time it's pronounced like an S. And they do not have that sound that we have, which is the Z. That sound like, like, um, like uh, xylophone. Uh, you know what a xylophone is? A xylophone. Like when we have a xylophone, xylophone. They don't, they don't have it. Their X is not, it sounds more like an S. It's not quite uh, an X or ex exam, right? We have exam. We say exam. Oh, that's a good example. That's a good example. They would say examine. 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 Right? You with me? Yeah. yeah. All right. So yeah, they do not have that song. So they wouldn't say exam. They wouldn't say example. If it was Spanish, they would they would say a sample. Example. Yeah, because the X is always like an S. All right. Um, Wi-Fi. 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 Okay. Right? Vivir. Vivir. Be. Beer. Okay. Ulular. U. Ulular. Lar. Ulular. 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 Yes. And Spanish is actually easier to learn than English because the vowels are always the same. So U is always U. It's not like English, where sometimes it's u, sometimes it's a, uh, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes it's oh, it, it makes different noises. So like a, you, you can have a cup, right? Um, but um, you have, you know, uh, the, the name Eulery, or you have, um, what's another, Uruguay, Uruguay, you see? We have in that one word, Uruguay. Uruguay. We have multiple tongues. We have multiple. Um, we have multiple pronunciations of one letter, U. They only have one. It's just U, always U. Then you have. Tetera. Can we try that together? Tetera. 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 Then we have Cicer. Cicer. All right, this one is hard. So don't feel bad if you don't get it the first time. Ron, 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 Ronear. Ron, Ronear. Ron, Ronear. Ron, Ronear. Ron, Ronear. Ron, Ronear. That way, something like. So the R, you know, is just practice. R, R con R cigarro. R. Right, you just had to practice that. It's it's hard. I'm not going to deny that. Kikiriki. Kikiriki. <laughs> this is actually, you will see this some, um, like in a Spanish song. Right, right. Kikiriki. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kikiriki. <laughs> I, I totally used to say, Kikiriki. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kikiriki. Okay. Papa. What is this? Papa. 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 Now, Papa. I think in the last class, we made a difference. It's differentiate. This is a very common confusion English speakers have. Um, you have Papa, which is potato, and you have Papa, 
which is dad. Mm -hmm. Very different, right? So what ends up happening is a lot of English speakers end up calling their fathers potato. potato. <laughs> so you have to be mindful of where you put the stress. Papa okay. is dad. Papa is potato. Right? Okay. Now there's a third papa, the poop. Right? But I don't want to confuse you. Um, <clears throat> the, the, the Pope, the Catholic Pope, is also Papa. But I don't want to confuse you, and you will hardly use that. Most, most of the time, you will use potato. Right? Okay. Papa. And Papa. Okay, so Papa is Dad, and Papa is potato. Okay, all right, together. Coco. 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 Co. Very good. Nyo nyo. Nyo nyo. Nyo nyo. Nyo nyo. Nyo nyo. Good. Nene. 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 Now notice these are two separate letters. One is N. And one is any, right? Two separate letters. And the rules around them are different, which we will see later on. Mama. 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 Labial. 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 Kaki. Ka. Kaki. 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 Very good. Kakakear. Hakear. Hakear. Now, their G, the Spanish G is always Jota. It's always, it's, it has that, it sounds like an H. It's like the okay. English H. Right? Now, the only exception you will find in proper nouns, right? In proper nouns. So you will have, you will meet people in Trinidad whose name is, you would see them, you would see names like this, Jamie, right? Mm -hmm. You would meet Venezuelans who have names like Jamie. And they would put, you would see they, they put a they put a J. So that's the only time when they pronounce their J like a Y. Um, but most of the time it's just it's just hot as like an H. Right? Oh. Yarima, am I doing okay so far? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yarima, any anything you want to say on that? Hota? Yeah. Todo bien con Jota? Yeah. Le, les, les confundí a, a mis a los trinitarios. O <laughs> Jota es siempre Jota, ¿verdad? Jota, siempre Jota. Siempre Jota. Okay. All right, let's move on. Iniciar. 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 Hechizo. 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 So the H in Spanish is, is oh, always silent. silent. Right? The only time you use H is when you're spelling it. But most of the time, it's silent. Now, in some dictionaries, you would say, why, if it's silent, why did we just say hechizo? Because in Spanish, CH, some dictionaries, you'd see they have CH as a letter on its own. Okay. CH, right? So that's why you have like the Mexican state, Chihuahua, right? You thought that was a dog, huh? 
it's 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 actually a state in Mexico. Um, and the dog got its name from the state. Anyway, all right. Uh, so yes, so C H. As I did say, chaguanas, chaguanas. Um, you would see chamba. <laughs> Chamba is an informal word for work, right? Mm -hmm. So like if on the road, if we bounce up some Venezuelans and we give them a hamper and they say, um, if, uh, quiero una chamba, quiero una chamba, right? What they mean is they're looking for Work. Work, exactly. They're looking for work. Quiero una chamba. Now it's informal, but it's but it's good to know because when we are on the road, you know, we might meet people who might tell us buscando chamba. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um what else? Where were we? Oh, gigante. 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 Now you will find many of these lessons on the internet. They are Spaniards from Spain. So the pronunciation might be a little different to what you hear here. But falsificar. Fal but, si -fi -car. but it's a very small difference. It's not like the difference between American English and British English. It's a very small difference. So the, they might, the, the, the Spaniards in Spain might be like theta. And they'll be, they, they, they make that sound with their ethyl aloft. Okay? okay? So they speak like a very theta, but you will hardly hear that here because most of the Spanish speakers here are from the Americas. Okay, but just so you know, just so you know, because sometimes in the exams, they bring um, Spanish from Spain. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so falsificar. Falsificar. Very good. Falsificar. Elefante. E Elefante. 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 Decidir. 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 Okay. Carcajada. Carcajada. Very good. Biblioteca. 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 Armadillo. Biblioteca. Armadillo. 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 Armadillo, ar, armadillo, di, yeah, armadillo. So, so that is very interesting. Eh? The correct name in English for a tattoo, you, you know what a, you know what a, that, that's what that is what an armadillo, armadillo is. Armadillo, mm -hmm. armadillo, the wild meat <laughs> that we eat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> The wild meat that we eat. The correct word in English is an armadillo, and it comes from the Spanish, which is armadillo. Okay. okay. Este le cuento, te cuento rapidito y arima. No sé si sabías, pero aquí en Trinidad hay un, hay una carne que se come. Este, bueno, <laughs> se come el armadillo. Conoces el armadillo? No. No, ok, es un, es un animal, este, aquí en Trinidad hay algo que se llama wild meat, okay, wild meat, eh, que es como carne salvaje, ¿no? Entonces los trinitarios, te darías cuenta con el tiempo que los trinitarios este, comemos eh, iguana, comemos este, armadillo, comemos... Eh, 
hay, hay otras carnes ahí que se comen. Hay un cochino, un cochino eh, salvaje también, que se come aquí también. Y aguti también se come. ¿Ok? Nada más para, para que no te asustes si, y para que no te ofendas si alguien te ofrece este, um, rabi pelado. Se come rabi pelado también. Yo no lo como, pero nada más para decírtelo pues, por si acaso. Yo no, yo no lo como porque, bueno, por, porque no me gusta, pero... Pero hay muchos trinitarios que comen rabi pelado. ¿Conoces el rabi pelado, no? Sí. Sí. Entonces no te sorprendas, no te escandalices. Este, no te ofendas. Sobre todo man, mantén tu cara este, normal. Pues no vayas a... ¡Oh, ¿Qué? ¿Cómo se come eso? Pero sí, 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 sí. Ok, este, alguna, algunas personas, algunas personas, pero no es, no es súper común, no, no es que lo vas a encontrar en la tienda, en el supermercado ni nada, pero se, se trata como, una, como carnes eh, de mayor precio incluso. Alrededor de Navidad vas a, vas a ver que la gente está vendiendo este wild hog, wild hog que es... Wild hog, lo pongo en el chat. Que es un, eso, eso sí lo como. Que es como cochino este, salvaje. Ok, bueno, entonces hemos terminado el alfabeto. We have finished the alphabet. Let us just do some numbers. We have passed the time. So let's just do this quickly. Let's do some numbers. We lose some basic numbers, right? Numbers. Some basic numbers. So that we, um, and then, oh gosh, we, we can't do all of these. This is one to a hundred. Shall we do one to 20? Would that be okay? Yeah. Monica, what do you think? Yeah. All right. All right, together. Uno. 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 All right, repeat after me. Uno. 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 Dos. 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 Tres. Tres. Dos. Cuatro. 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 Cinco. 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 Seis. 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 Siete. 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 Ocho. Ocho. Nueve. Nueve. Diez. Diez. Once. Once. Doce. Doce. Trece. 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 Catorce. Catorce. Quince. Quince. Dieciséis. Dieciséis. All right, let's try that again. Dieciséis. Dieciséis. All right, let's take it in parts. Diez. Diez. Y. Y. Seis. Seis. Diez y. Diez y. Seis. Seis. Dieciséis. 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 Very good. Diecisiete. 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 Very good. Dieciocho. Dieciocho. Very good. Diecinueve. Diecinueve. Very good. You see, you're getting better with practice. Veinte. 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 Very good. All right, it's 12.15. Um, we went 15 minutes over, but that's okay. Um, Zoom was very generous to have allowed us 
to, to not have stop. to break. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very, very young. Um, I was wondering what went on. <laughs> yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, me too, me too. You thought I, you thought I bought a feed account. I could <laughs> It's probably the, the fact that it's an educational video. They um, were generous. So let's give Zoom an applause. And um, <laughs> and yeah, thank you, Zoom. And thanks to all of you for being here today. So the next class would be on Thursday at, from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Now, the reason for that is Friday, I have an event. Um, which I had applied for a long time ago. So okay. um, a couple of months ago. Um, so yeah, so Friday, I am not supposed to be working. Uh, okay, so, yeah. But the minister has par may have parliament on Friday, so I may, I may work during the day. But the time allotted for the class, 4 to 6 p.m., I can't make that. So we will okay, see, so we'll see you all on Thursday, 10 to 12. I may come into the office physically, or we may do it online again, like now. Actually, okay. either way, we'll be here online. Either way, okay. we'll be here online. Whether I do it online from the office or online from online alone, we'll be mm -hmm. here online. Okay, so, eh, ¿me entendiste, eh, Yarima? Para el jueves a las 10. Mm -hmm. Okay, si, si llegas temprano, yo, yo estoy aquí desde las 9 y media, este, porque alguno, algunos tienen que irse un poquito temprano por, por, a veces para, por el trabajo, entonces... En principio empiezo desde las nueve y media, pero y no, no te pierdes nada a las diez. Ellos, eh, tus compañeras de clase que estás viendo ahí en el, en el Zoom, ellos, ellas son todas de la misma, del mismo lugar. Entonces, este, a las diez está bien eh, el jueves. Ok. 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 So, ok. Adiós. So, Sí, Gracias. Adiós, amigos. Adiós. Sí,